Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Um, first thing I want you to see is this is uh, what a jailbroken iPad would look like. Um, again, this is not jailbroken. The iPad Air just came out today, so you guys need to calm down a little bit. Um, but what will happen is you will have links immediately available uh, in the description below to, to jailbreak your iPad Air as soon as possible. So as, as soon as there is anything available to jailbreak your iPad Air or anything else in iOS 7, We'll add some comments and it'll be in the section below. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if, you're, if you're watching this video right now, check down there to see if there's any uh, links that provide you access to be able to jailbreak your iPad Air or anything, anything else you have, like the iPad Mini, Retina, or anything else running iOS 7. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about jailbreaking iOS 7. Um, first, here's the iPad Air that was released. Um, jailbreaking it. Um, it was just announced and now it's just out. Um, this is today is November 1st, so um, the A7 chip is going to be the, the probably the biggest issue in getting a jailbreak um, for the iPad Air and the iPhone 5S. Okay, so those devices may be last to get the jailbreak. Uh, here's some photos that have been made available. What Cydia would look like. This, these are iPhones, obviously. What city will look like on the uh, an iOS 7 with the new redesign? So I'll uh, just go ahead and show you guys those, so you can kind of see what 7.0.2, which is currently um, still not a problem for the dev team, the evaders. Go ahead and uh, jump to. There's a lot of uncertainty um, whether it's going to be available. Um, if you look out on the web, um, don't. If you, if you do a search, there's a lot of people that want you to pay for a jailbreak. Don't pay for that. Um, this is a chart that was recently put together. Um, this is how long it took to jailbreak the different iOSs and the different new iPhones. Um, so as you can see here with the iOS 4 and the iPhone 4, it took 30 days, or 38 days. And then the iPhone 4S took 30 or 98 days with iOS 5. The iPhone 5, along with iOS 6, Took 136 days to jailbreak. Um, so a projection for the iPhone 5S would be 189 days with this current trend um, going like this. So uh, as you can see, 189 days. And if you go look at iOS 7, it was released uh, September 18th, 2013. So we're just under 50 days right now with iOS 7. So uh, I would say a good a good estimate to when it will be available um, would maybe. Uh, early next year, so January or so. Um, so there's plenty of reason to jailbreak your iPhone. Um, you can yeah, be able to move icons where you want them, install themes, those kinds of things. Um, so be sure to check out the description below again um, for any links that would be available for the iPad Air or any other iOS 7 device to be jailbroken. So because we are looking at a good, uh, a, it is more difficult to jailbreak. Um, it's been like the iPhone 4 has the A4 processor. You are able to jailbreak that um, due to a uh, boot ROM exploit. Um, but right now they're trying to get software, basically software exploits. Um, they have the exploits. They're just trying to put them in a package together uh, for the average computer savvy person to just be able to download it and uh, jailbreak their iPhone 5S or iPad Air. So. Currently, I'm still running my iPad Mini on iOS 6.1.2, um, which is jailbroken, and I'm going to stay with that until the iPad Air, again, would be able to have a jailbreak, and I'll be able to install it as I had this photo screenshot here. It makes it look like my iPad is jailbroken, but anyway, this is the uh, city here, and this is what you would get to. Um, this is a iOS 7 theme that you can download for iOS 6 jailbreak. So uh, be sure to check us out at iPadJailbreak.com. And again, the comments below and be sure to subscribe. Um, you have the latest on the jailbreak for the iPad Air and the iPhone 5S. Thanks, guys.